This RTX 3090 landed on my test bench completely dead. No power, no display. But what I discovered during the diagnosis wasn't your average shot. One of the 12 volt MOSFET was blown and fused tightly to the PCB. And to make things worse, both the 8 pin and PCIe fuses were open. A clear sign that something serious had gone wrong. In this video, I'll show you how I identified the fault, the extreme steps I had to take to grind out a MOSFET that refused to let go, and how I bought this powerhouse GPU back to life. Let's jump in. My name is Fraser and welcome to GPU Solutions, where I bring graphics cards back to life with precision repair and expert diagnostics. If you're passionate about GPU repair or just curious how these powerful cards are bought back from the brink, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next fix. After removing the cooler, the first thing I did was measure the resistance across the key input areas. I started by checking the fuse on the 8 pin input and it was open. Then I moved on to the PCIe side and that fuse was open too. At this point, I suspected a serious short. So I began checking for one and sure enough, I found a short on the 12 volt line coming from the 12 volt 8 pin. Interestingly, there was no short on the PCIe side which helped narrow down where the issue might be. To dig deeper, I inspected the board under the microscope. And that's when I found the real culprit. One of the MOSFETs near the 12 volt input had visible burn marks. It was clear that this component had taken the damage and likely caused the shot. With that in mind, I decided to remove the burnt MOSFET and replace it. But what happened next caught me off guard. To safely remove the damaged MOSFET, I powered on the preheater and set the temperature to 120 degrees Celsius. While the board was warming up, I carefully shielded the surrounding capacitors and added flux to the area to prepare for a clean removal. Once the board had reached the temperature, I went in with the hot air to lift the MOSFET. It eventually came off, but not entirely. A part of it had stayed behind, fused to the board. That's when I realized this wasn't going to be a standard removal. A section of the MOSFET had literally bonded to the board. I had no choice but carefully grind it out bit by bit to avoid damaging the surrounding traces and components. With the old MOSFET completely removed, I tinned the pads and prepared the new one for a replacement. After carefully aligning it, I soldered the new MOSFET into place, making sure it was securely mounted and all pins had proper contact. Next, I moved on to the blown fuses, starting with the 8 pin input and then to the PCIe side. Both were replaced with 20 amp fuses to match the original spec and restore full flow of the card. Once both fuses were in place, I cleaned the entire area thoroughly with 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol to remove any residual flux or debris. With the board cleaned and ready, I connected my custom-made power supply to begin testing. The power draw stabilized at around 2.41 amps, right where it should be for a healthy idle state. Using my multimeter, I verified that the 12 volts was present on both the 8 pin and the PCIe connector. At this point, all the primary power rails were back and stable. With all primary checks looking good, I mounted the PCB into my test bench to see if it would boot and display an image. And sure enough, it did. The GPU powered on, posted and displayed perfectly on the monitor. After confirming that the GPU was displaying correctly, I powered off the test bench and began reassembly. I applied fresh thermal paste, reinstalled the cooler and fully assembled the card. This time for a full stress test. I ran it through Fermark, Superposition and Nomad to check thermal stability and performance. The test completed successfully without any crashes, artifacts or overheating. This repair was complete and this 3090 was officially back in action. 
If you enjoyed this repair and want to see more GPU recoveries, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Got questions? Drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you got a graphics card that needs professional repair, visit my website gpusolutions.net to book your repairs today. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Cheers.